Hello, everyone. My name is Neil Thompson, founder of Teach the Geek. I work with technical professionals so they can present more effectively, especially in front of non-technical audiences. And you can learn more about that at teachthegeek.com. Again, that's teachthegeek.com. I want to talk a bit about storytelling as it pertains to technical presentations. And you may think that storytelling has no basis to be used in technical presentations. But let me tell you, if, especially if you're talking in front of a non-technical audience, that could very well be the difference between people paying attention and ignoring you. And this is definitely something that I came to understand. That I had to give more and more of these type of presentations. I firmly didn't, well, I firmly believe that storytelling wasn't even appropriate for technical presentations, but it certainly can make all the difference. So how can you even incorporate such a, such a thing as storytelling in a technical presentation? Well, it certainly has to make sense to, to do. You just don't tell some any random story. It, the, the story has to make sense. And not only that, but it has to tie the data that you're trying to convey into the story as well. It, uh, uh, and unless and, and if you don't do that, well, then again, it doesn't really make all that much sense to do. So let me just give you an example. So I used to I used to work in orthobiologics and medical devices. That's using human cadaver bone to make spinal implants. And there were once there was once a time where I had to do some preclinical testing using various bone putties. So we took bone putties from three different companies. And it was and the, the, the issue that we had with them, the testing we were going to do is that a lot of these bone putties look very similar. So we really wanted to make sure that the the bone putty we used was the was the correct one. We were labeling everything correctly because so we were just just taking them random randomly. You may forget which which bone putty is this com which which company is this bone putty from, and it would just cause a mess. So what I did was the box that the bone putty came in. I kept it very close to where I was actually using that particular bone putty. So wherever I use that particular bone putty, I could look at the box and remember, okay, this bone putty came from this company. And that really helped in just making sure that I used the correct bone putty and, and labeled it with the, uh, it came from the correct company. And then, so when, when you tell that, that story about just the, the bone putties and the companies they came from, then you can follow it up with the data that you, that you gathered from using that bone, that those those three bone putties for those for that testing. You know, if you just launched right into well, from this bone putty, we got this a result, and then from this bone putty, we got this result. You know, it might be, it might be a bit boring. People might not pay attention, but if you tell this bit of a story as to how you even got the bone putties to the testing in the first place, how you were able to make sure that you used the correct bone putty and and correlated it to the right company, well, maybe people actually take more attention or they pay more attention to what you're actually saying. As I said, stories are important. I mean, when we were children, perhaps your mom and dad read you a bedtime story before you went to sleep. But apparently when we get older, we move away from stories. We, perhaps we don't think they're appropriate as I did. But as I mentioned, they can very well be the difference between people paying attention and, well, not. <laughs> so give it a shot. Try incorporating storytelling into your technical presentations. Of course, you never want to ignore the, the data that you actually want to convey to the people that you're speaking to, but you want to pair that data with a good story. And of course, when it comes to a story, you need to make sure that it has a clear beginning, middle, and end. You just don't want to tell some rambling story that makes that doesn't make any sense. Again, my name is Neil Thompson. I'm the founder of Teach the Geek. I work with technical professionals on their presentation skills, especially in front of non-technical audiences. And you can learn more about that at teachthegeek.com. Again, that's teachthegeek.com. Until next time, take care and stay safe. Oh, oh, another thing. Always remember to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Every little bit helps. Thanks.